Tonight, as I was waiting on the Lord Jesus Christ, 今天晚上当我在主面前等候的时候 ，asking Him what I should come and speak to you， 在仰望主，今天我应该跟你们讲什么 ？The Lord gave me a very special word， 主就给我一句特殊的话 ，about an event that is going to take place， 是关于将要发生的事。We all believe that Jesus Christ is coming soon. 我们都相信耶稣基督很快就要再来。Amen. 是不是嘛 ？Do you believe that? 你们相信吗 ？Amen. Do you believe Jesus Christ is coming soon? 你们相信耶稣即将再来吗 ？Amen. If you are a Christian, 如果你是一个基督徒 ，it is the hope and the belief of every Christian. 这是基督徒每一个基督徒的盼望跟信念。That Jesus Christ is coming again. 就是耶稣基督还要再来。Amen. He's coming again. He is coming again. We all know that. 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 We all Jesus Christ is coming soon. Turn your Bibles to the book of Revelation, chapter 19. We turn to the book of Revelation, chapter 19. In Revelation, chapter 19, in the book of 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 Rev
Jesus Christ will then execute judgment on this earth. Thirdly, he will make war. Three reasons why he's coming again. My dear brothers and sisters, it is not going to be a pleasant event. It is not going to be a wonderful event. It is going to be a terrible day. The Bible tells us it is the day of the Lord is a terrible day. Awesome day. Fearful day. Brutal day. The Bible says. Who can stand at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Who can stand at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? At the brightness of his coming. You know, if you carefully read the Bible, the accounts of the second coming of Jesus Christ are really very, very terrible. They are really very frightening. In 2 Peter chapter 3, it is written, When the Lord Jesus Christ comes with all this glory, Every element in the universe would begin to melt. They will all flee away. The scientist tells us our sun is getting very old. And it will explode. When it explodes, in eight minutes time, the fiery heat from the sun when the sun explodes, the fire and the heat that comes out from that explosion, it will take eight minutes to reach the earth. And when it reaches the earth, this earth will become ashes. Four minutes before the heat comes to earth, all the water will begin to boil. All the seas will boil. Every vegetation will die. Two minutes before hitting the earth, every living thing on this earth will become burnt to like a roasted duck. And the last minute when it hits the earth, everything on this earth will be destroyed. This earth will look like uh, the whole planet burn with fire. I'm not telling you this. This is not from any storybook. These are real scientific facts that scientists tell us. I regularly read science magazines to update myself what is going to happen. So this is a scientific fact that I'm telling you. But I tell you something better than what science tells you. Or rather something more frightening than what science tells you. If an ordinary sun's fire can do this much of damage, what about the glory of God that created the sun? You know, the glory of God is 1,000 suns put together. 
你知道吗？神的荣耀的那个威力呢，比一千万个太阳放在一起还要大。That is why the Bible says. 这就是为什么他是。Even at the brightness of his coming. 在他临到的那个荣光里面。All the planets and the stars in the sky will begin to melt like wax. 所有宇宙间的星辰都要融化像蜡一样。I tell you a truth. 我先跟你们讲的是真的。That day is a terrible day. 那一天是一个大，是一个可畏的日子。Terrible day. 是一个很可怕的日子。My dear brothers and sisters. 亲爱的弟兄姊妹。If you are standing on the wrong side. 如果你是站在错的那一边。Woe unto you. 那你就有祸了。The Bible says that. 圣经上这样说。If you are standing on the wrong side on that day. 在那一天，如果你是站在错的边。Woe unto you! You 就有祸了。Jesus Christ is coming to execute judgment on that day. 因为那天耶稣要来地上施行审判。Who will he judge? 他要审判谁呢 ？How will he judge? 他要如何审判呢 ？The Holy Bible in the book called Jude. 在呃犹大书这卷书里面 ，verse fourteen and fifteen tells us. 十四节跟十五节告诉我们。Jesus Christ is coming again. 讲到说耶稣基督很快就要再来。This was prophesied by the prophet Enoch. 这是啊，以诺先知以诺所预言的。Jesus Christ is coming again. 耶稣基督要再来。The Lord is coming. 主要再来。With ten thousand times ten thousands of His saints. 而且呢，要有千千万万的使者与他同在。Jude verse fifteen says. 这第十五节这样说。Why is He coming? 他来干什么呢？我在犹大书第。十五节说，要在万众人身上行审判，证实那一切不敬虔的人所妄行一切不敬虔的事，又证实不敬虔之罪人所说顶撞他的刚愎话。Look at what the scripture says. 我们看这节是怎么说的。To execute judgment upon all. 他说要在众人身上行审判。Who? 哪些人是？ Who are all the people? 这些众人是指谁呢？ Upon all the ungodly people. 他这里讲到说一切不敬虔的人。Because of all their ungodly deeds. 因为他们不敬虔的事。Because of all the ungodly words they spoke. 也因为他们所讲一切不敬虔的话。Before, because of all the ungodly sins they have committed. 也因为他们所所犯的一切不敬虔的罪。What what kind of ungodly words they have spoken? 那他们所说不敬虔的话是哪一种话呢 ？Verse sixteen tells us. 第十六节告诉我们。These are the murmurers. 他们是发怨言的。These are the complainers. 他们是发议，他们是发议论，私下议论的。These are the people who commit sexual sins. 是那些犯呃性的罪的。Be careful. 要非常的小心。If you have been murmuring, 如果你你常常抱怨的话。If you have been complaining, 如果你发怨言。If you have been committing sexual sins, 如果你犯情欲上的罪。Be careful. 要非常小心。Be careful. 要非常小心。My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹。I very lovingly tell you tonight. 我今天晚上带着爱心对你们说。Don't murmur against one another. 不要在彼此抱怨。Especially, don't murmur against your pastors or your leaders in your church. 特别是不要发怨言，反对抵挡你的你的牧师、教会领袖。Don't backbite against one another. 也不要在后面重伤别人。Don't backbite against your pastors or your leaders. 也不要讲一些话来反对、来重伤你的牧师、你的教会长。Don't do that. 不要做这样的事。Don't do that. 不要做这样的事。The Bible tells us. 圣经告诉我们。Only dogs do that. It's the dogs who bite against each other's necks. 唯有狗是相咬相吞的。If you look at a dog, 如果你看到那狗 ，you see two dogs fighting. 你看两只狗在相咬。They will always go for the neck. 他们每一次相咬都咬脖子这个地方。Bite the necks. 都是咬住脖子。You know why they bite the necks? 你知道为什么咬脖子吗 ？In the neck is a very important vein. 因为在在这个啊这个脖子上有一个很重要的地方。That is the main vein that carries the blood. 这个这里有有一条很重要的血管。When that vein is punctured, 如果这个血管被刺被咬住了 ，all the blood will flow out. 破了，这个血就会涌出来。And the dog will bleed to death. 那这只狗呢就会流血到死。In the human body, 在人的身体里面 ，in our neck， 在我们的脖子上 ，there is also a very important vein connected to the heart. 同时也有血管是连到心脏的。
When that vein is cut, 如果这个血管被切断了 ，you will bleed to death. 你就会流血到死。No way to stop it. 没有办法拯救的。Bleed to death. 就会流血到死。The Bible tells us. 圣经告诉我们。When you murmur against one another. 当你们彼此发怨言的时候。When you backbite against one another. 当你背后互相伤害的时候。You are behaving like the dogs. 你的行为就像一只狗一样。And you will spiritually die. 那你就你的灵里头就会死。Not only you will spiritually die. 因为不仅你你在灵性里头会死。You will be judged. By the Lord Jesus Christ. 而且你会被主耶稣基督审判。When you backbite and you murmur against one another. 所以如果你们彼此发怨言，互相伤害。Let me tell you one truth. 我现在跟你们讲一个真理。Your pastors and your elders may not be the perfect people. 你的牧师、你的长老或许不完全。You are not perfect. You are not perfect. They are not perfect. They are not perfect. They are not perfect. They may have their faults. Maybe they have their faults. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they are the best pastors God has given to you. But they And if you break their hearts, 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 if you break It is not good for you. This 对你是不好的 God will take vengeance on their tears against you. Because God will remember their tears. Don't backbite. Don't murmur against your leaders. So 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 don't backbite. Don't murmur against your leaders. That's what the Bible says. This is the Bible telling us. Go and talk to them. Directly to them. Directly to them. Directly to them. If you don't have the guts and the boldness to talk to them, but if you don't have the guts and the boldness to talk to them, then keep your mouth shut. Then you will keep your mouth shut. Amen. Amen. Keep your mouth shut. You have no right to talk among yourselves. 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 You can talk to Jesus Christ. You can talk to Jesus Christ. You can talk to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Tell the Lord. Tell to Jesus Christ. Then God will speak to your pastor. That the Lord will speak to your pastor. But don't murmur and backbite. 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 But don't I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, I'm sure you may have met people like that. Maybe, Tomorrow they will cry. Amen. Amen. When Jesus Christ comes again, when Jesus Christ comes again, when Jesus Christ comes again, They are going to cry very, very terribly. They want to cry very, very terribly. The Bible says, "The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. The Bible tells us they will judge all their ungodly deeds. Especially in America, 特别是在美国 If you watch American movies, 如果你看美国拍的影片 they will use the name of Jesus Christ to curse. 他们用耶稣的名来彼此咒诅 Even if you look at comedies, 即使你看的那些呃喜剧片 children's program, 或是小孩子的卡通片 you'll find this curse word. 连这样的片子都有这样的 And they will use the name of Jesus Christ to curse one another. 他们用耶稣的名字来彼此咒诅 My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 Judge Jude verse fifteen. 
According to that scripture, God, Jesus Christ will judge them. That is the first thing that will take place when Jesus Christ comes again. Secondly, the Bible says He will make war. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11 and verse 14, He will make war, and the armies in heaven will follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen carefully. The Bible says, when Jesus Christ is coming again, He's not coming alone. All the armies in heaven are following Jesus Christ. I want to bring your attention to one very important word. The Bible does not say army. It says armies. Which, which means there are more than one army in heaven. There are specifically two armies. One is the army of the saints of God. And this saints of God composed of two groups. One are the martyrs. Those who die for the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are killed for the sake of Jesus Christ. Those who are beheaded. Those who are cut into two. Bible says the prophet Isaiah was cut in two. The Apostle Thomas, he was killed in India, in my own state, the fanatical Hindu people, they were very angry with him, they became jealous of him, because a lot of Hindu people were accepting Jesus Christ. You know what they did to Thomas? They cut his back. Tear the skin. They throw chili powder on his back. And Thomas was screaming and crying. He was crying, running up a hill. And those wicked people, they took a spear and threw at him. They killed him like that in India. In my own state, my own ancestors did that. The Bible tells us, Revelation chapter 6 verse 10, all the souls of the martyrs, they cry out to God. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, how long you will keep quiet? How long you will keep quiet? When will you take vengeance on our behalf? When will you take vengeance? In 1997, one Australian missionary and his two sons, eight years old and ten years old, they were coming back from serving lepers in a village. Twelve midnight, the father was driving the jeep. Two little boys helping the father to nurse the lepers. As they were driving the jeep along the jungle, one group of armed people stopped them. They pour kerosene on the jeep. Kerosene, petrol. They throw petrol and gas on the jeep. And they lighted the jeep. 
就烧了这辆吉普车。Father and two boys burned alive. 结果呢，这父亲跟两个两个男孩就活活被烧死。Happened in India. 这是发生在印度的事。When the police came, 当警察来的时候 ，they saw three bodies burned alive. 他们就看到三具活活被烧死的尸体。And you know what the father did? 你知道那个父亲怎么样吗 ？He stretched his hands and covered the two boys. 他就这个父亲呢，就伸出手来遮盖那两个男孩。And those two boys were holding each other. 然后两个男孩呢，鼻子抱着。And the father was holding the two boys. 然后这个爸爸就这样抱着他们两个。Burned alive in India. 可是，在印度就是三个人活活被烧死。Catholic nuns. 然后有还有天主天主教的修女 ，brutally raped， 被被很残忍的强暴 ，strip of all their clothes， 把所有的衣服扒光 ，made to walk naked in the streets to go back to their church， 然后就叫他呢这样赤身露体的呢走回到他自己的修道院 ，and then they were killed， 然后他们又被杀 ，bodies of Catholic fathers lying on the street。有很多修修道院的的神父呢，就尸体躺在地上。In the last five years, all these things happening in India. 在印度过去这五年，有这么多的事情发生。All their blood crying out to Jesus Christ. 所有他们的血都向耶稣呼求。All their souls crying out to Jesus Christ. 他们的灵魂都在向主。Oh Lord God! 哦，主神啊 ！When will you take vengeance? 你什么时候为我伸冤 ？When will you take vengeance? 你什么时候为我伸冤呢？ Revelation chapter six verse eleven says. 在启示录第六章的第一十十一节说 ，Jesus Christ gave them white garments to wear. 主耶稣把白袍给他们穿上。Wait. 等一下。Just wait. 等一下。Little while. 再等一会儿。Just wait. 就你暂且等一等。There will be one group of the army. 所以会有一群的军队。And the other group of the army. 另外还有一个军队。All the redeemed saints. Revelation chapter seven, 在启示录第七章 verse nine, 第九节 verse thirteen, 还有第十三节 verse fourteen, 十四节 chapter fifteen, 还有第十五章 and the verse two, 第二节 All this talks about the redeemed saints in heaven. 这这些经文都讲到蒙救赎的圣徒 My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 the redeemed saints. 这些蒙救赎的圣徒，还有那些殉道者 ，They compose one army. 这这群人呢，就组织成组成一支军队。Then the second army. 那另外这第二支军队呢 ？Is the angelic host. 是天使天军。The Bible tells us. 圣经告诉我们。Second Kings chapter six verse seventeen. 这个呃，列王志下第十六章。Psalms chapter sixty eight verse seventeen. 另外诗篇六十八篇。The uh, 第十八节 Revelation chapter twelve verse seven. 启示录第十二章的第七节 In heaven there are hundreds and thousands of hundreds and thousands of chariots of fire, horses of fire, and the warrior angels. 在天上有千千万万的火车、火马、天使、天军 This is the second army. 这个就是第二支的军队 The two armies in heaven. 这是天上的两支军队 His two armies will come with Jesus Christ. 这两支军队都会跟随着耶稣一起来 My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 Look at how the Lord Jesus Christ is dressed. 我们要来看耶稣基督身上穿的是什么衣服 The Bible tells us. 圣经告诉我们 In verse fourteen. 在第十四节 ，thirteen and fourteen， 十三节十四节。The Lord Jesus Christ is not wearing a white gown. 耶稣基督不是穿着白袍。His gown is dipped in blood. 他这个地方讲到他是的衣服是溅着血的衣服。Why? 为什么呢 ？Isaiah chapter sixty-three. 以赛亚书的第六十三章 ，verses one to four. 第一节到第四节 ，verse six. 还有第六节 ，It tells us. 告诉我们。Jesus Christ wears that kind of a garment for vengeance. Jesus Christ 穿着那样的衣服是为了来伸冤的。He's not wearing a white gown. 他不是穿着白袍。The armies in heaven are wearing a white gown. 天上的军队是穿着白袍。But Jesus Christ is wearing a gown dipped in blood. 可是耶稣基督所穿的血是穿的衣服是溅着血的。Solidly red in color. 是是红色的。To take vengeance. 是为了来报仇。And out of his mouth goes out a sword. 而他口中呢有剑利剑出来。What is the purpose? 那是为了什么呢 ？For two reasons. 是为了两个目的。Two purpose. 为了两个目的。To kill and to rule. 
The sword goes out of his mouth to kill and to rule. Revelation chapter 19 verse 15 tells us like that. My dear brothers and sisters, war breaks out. Jesus Christ is coming to make war on this earth. I tell you one truth. All those of you who are not living a true Christian life. All those of you are not truly born again. All those of you are not truly committed and walking with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are like that. I feel very sad for you. I am afraid for you. On that day, you will tremble. You will fear. You will not dare to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. Your heart will be beating against you. It will die. Don't be like that on that day. When the Lord Jesus Christ comes with the armies in heaven, the Bible tells us in verse 19 the devil and the earthly armies will war with the Lord Jesus Christ. Then will happen what is called the Battle of Armageddon. Revelation chapter 16 verse 13, 14 and 16 tells us like that. The battle of Armageddon. Armageddon is a real place in Israel. In 1992 I went to Israel. I have seen that place. It's a big flat barren land. Surrounded by desert mountains. Huge place. That is where the battle is going to take place. I tell you one more time. Whatever I tell you is real events that are going to take place. This is not story. Not fairy tale. Not Hollywood movie that I'm telling you. Real event that is going to take place. The Battle of Armageddon. At this moment, let me reveal to you a mystery that will take place. Please listen very carefully. When Jesus Christ was on this earth, the Bible tells us He was God on flesh. God took on human flesh. God was in Jesus Christ walking on this earth. In the same way, please pay very careful attention. In the same way, the devil will take on human flesh. And he will be called the beast. Jesus Christ had a foreigner called John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a prophet of God. He went ahead. Told the Israelite people. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. When John baptized Jesus Christ. He told all the people. Behold the Lamb of God. This is the Lamb of God. That taken away the sins of the world. John chapter 1 verse 29 The prophet John pointed his finger at Jesus Christ The prophet pointed a finger at God in the world in the flesh Just like that The devil in the human flesh as peace 
will have a false prophet. 这个在肉身里面就是那个兽，就是魔鬼在肉身里面的那兽呢，也会有一个在他前头替他开路的。What will the false prophet do? 也会有一个假先知，那这个假先知要做什么呢 ？Revelation chapter nineteen， 在启示录的第十九章 ，verse twenty tells us， 第二十节告诉我们 ，the false prophet will deceive the whole world with lying signs, wonders, and miracles. 这个假先知要用虚假的神迹奇事来欺哄天下的人。He will Stir up the people. He 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 will stir up the people. Everybody will bow down and worship the beast. So, 每一个人都要向那兽跪拜 Not only that. 不仅是这个样子 Everybody will be forced and deceived to receive the mark of the beast. 同时，每一个要被迫的，而且被欺骗的，来接受那个印记，兽的印记。What is the mark of the beast? 那这个兽的印记是什么呢 ？Revelation chapter thirteen. 在启示录第十三章。Verses six to eight tells us. 第六节到第八节告诉我们。That the devil to the beast. 这就是就是透这个兽呢。Will make everybody receive a mark. 会。必迫使每一个人接受一个印记。What is the mark? 那这个记号是什么呢 ？Revelation chapter thirteen， 在启示录第十三章 ，verses eleven to eighteen， 第十一节到第十八节。It tells us it is a mark. It's a number of a man. 这是人的是数目。And that number， 而这个数目 ，is six six six， 是六六六。My dear brothers and sisters， 亲爱的弟兄姊妹。Let me show you a mystery tonight. 我今天要让跟你们讲一个奥秘。Now this scripture is always misquoted and misinterpreted by almost all preachers. 几乎所有的牧师、传道人呢，都错误的引用，而且错误的解释这节经文。Today I show you a revelation. 可是我今天要把我领受的启示跟你们分享。If you read Revelation chapter thirteen, 如果你读启示录第十三章 ，verse eighteen says， 第十八节说 ，Here is wisdom. 他说这里有智慧。Let him who has understanding understand. Let him who has understanding count the number. 他说凡有聪明的可以算计兽的数目。Now let me ask you one question. 现在我问你们一个问题。Please look at me. 请你们看着我。If the number is very simply six six six. 如果这个数目是就是简简单单的六六六。You don't need any wisdom. You don't need any understanding. You don't need any understanding. If you look, you will know six six six. 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 You look, you Is it right? You don't need wisdom. 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 You It will not be exactly six six six. 不是就真，不是真实，真的就是六六六。It will be a combination. 是一个做混合的。You need wisdom. 所以你需要有智慧。To know. 来知道。It will not be as simple as six six six. 不是像六六六就这么简单。Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters. 现在弟兄姊妹，让我告诉你。The devil is not stupid. 魔鬼不不笨的。He is very wise. 他是非常聪明的。He is very wise. 是非常有智慧的。Don't think that the devil is stupid. 不要以为魔鬼很笨。He is wise. 他是很有智慧。That is why the Bible wrote. 这就是为什么圣经上说。You must have wisdom. 你必须有智慧才行。You must have understanding. 你必须聪明才可以。You must have illumination and discernment from the Holy Spirit. 你必须从圣灵那边领受启示跟开启。Don't be deceived. 所以不要被骗。Don't be deceived. 不要被骗。If you buy anything from the supermarket, 如果你去店里头买任何东西 ，If you look at all product, 你看这所有的产品 ，There is a barcode here. 有一个有有一个这个
这个标号在这个地方。有没有？有没有 ？You if you look at the barcode. 你如果看到这个标号 ，There are many many lines. 有很多条线，对不对 ？The first line. 的第一条线。The last line. 还有最后一条线。The center line. 还有中间的线。They are the longest line. 是比较长的，是不是 ？And there, those three lines. 而这三条线 ，Each line have a number. 每一条线都有一个数目。Those three lines represent six, six, six. This three lines represent six, six, six. Now I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying this is the mark of the beast. 连我们的我我们的呃证件 ，it has the mark， 也是有这样的记号。Does your identity card have the mark？ 你的你的证件是不是有这样的？有没有？有没有 ？Be careful。所以要非常小心。Don't take it in your hand。不要拿拿在你的手上。Amen。Don't take it in your hand。不要拿在手上。If it is in the car, okay。如果在车子里面没关系。Don't take it in your hand。可是不要拿在手上。But I tell you today。可是今天我告诉你。Write it down。把它写下来 ，so that you can test what I say。那这样以后你就可以来证实我所说的。That mark is coming。那个记号即将来到。They will put on your hand。要放在你的手上。Or on your forehead。或是在你的额头上。It is coming。将要来到。Very soon it is coming。很快就会有。Be careful。你要非常小心。Don't receive the mark。不要接受这个记号。Even if you have to go to prison。即使你必须下到监狱 ，Don't take the mark， 也不要接受这个记号。That is the mark of the beast， 因为那就是兽的记号。No matter how much you are tempted， 不管你是怎么样的受诱惑 ，Don't be a fool， 不要不要被骗。Don't save your skin and take the mark， 不要为为了保护你的皮肤而接受那个那个记号。Don't think that God will understand and you take the mark， 你不要以为说反正神会谅解你。It will never happen。不会有这样的事情的。If you do that， 因为如果这样做的话 ，Forever your soul is sold to the devil。你的灵魂呢，就是出卖给撒旦了。When Jesus Christ comes, when Jesus Christ comes, the war takes place between Jesus Christ and the devil. This time, the devil and Jesus will have a fight. How can the devil ever fight against God? 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 The devil can never fight with God. Satan 没有办法跟神打的。In Isaiah chapter fourteen verse twelve. 在以赛亚书的十四章的十二节。Ezekiel chapter twenty-eight. 还有以西以西结书二十八章。Verses twelve to fourteen. 十二节到十四节。The devil was a holy angel up in heaven. 这个魔这个魔鬼呢，起初是天上的一个天使。Sinned him in his heart. 可是最近到他的心中。And God cast him out of heaven. 然后神就把他从天上摔下来。Luke chapter ten. 路加福音第十。Verse seventeen to nineteen. 第十七节到第十九节。The Lord Jesus said. 主耶稣说。I saw the devil like lightning fall down from heaven. 我看到撒旦如同闪电从天上下来。He cannot fight against God. 他没有办法跟神打的。He will try. 他会尝试。One more time he will try. 可是他会再一次的尝试。But he will not win the war. 可是他没有办法赢这场战争。The fire that goes out from the eyes of the Lord Jesus. 那从耶稣基督眼睛出来的火焰。And the sword that goes out from the lips of the Lord Jesus. 还从耶稣耶稣嘴巴出来的利剑。The Bible tells us. 圣经告诉我们。Second Thessalonians chapter two. 这是提提撒罗尼迦后书的第二章。Verse eight. 第八节。By the sword of his mouth. 他说，借着他口中的利剑。The Lord Jesus Christ will destroy the devil. And he will be bounded. Then 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 he will be bounded. And the Bible tells us. 圣经也告诉我们。And all the armies of the world that fight against Jesus Christ. 所有世上军队抵挡耶稣基督的。They'll be slain. 他们都会被杀。The whole of Armageddon. 所有的亚亚米基啊多顿。Will be filled with dead bodies. 会充满尸体。
Now, how to get rid of the dead bodies? Now, 要怎么样除去这些尸体呢 ？God has a very interesting way of getting rid of dead bodies. 那神有一个很特别、很特、很很特殊的方法来除去这些尸体。Revelation chapter nineteen. 在启示录第十九章。Verse twenty one. 第二十一节。Ezekiel chapter thirty nine. 还有以西结书的三十九章。Verse seventeen to twenty. 第十七节到二十。God looks at all the birds. And he tells the birds, "Come, come, come, come to the great supper." 来来享用大宴。And all the vultures and the eagles will eat the dead bodies. 所有的秃鹰，各样的鹰就会来吃吃这些尸体。My dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姊妹 ，the second coming of Jesus Christ will be a wrathful event. 所以，耶稣基督再来的那个日子是一个极可怕的事情。So far, I have told you only bad things that are going to take place. 到目前为止，我跟你们讲的都是要发生的不好的事。Fearful event. 是可怕的事。When I look at all your faces, 当我看着你们的脸 ，I can see how scared you are. 我看得出你们都很害怕。I am sorry for this bad news. 很抱歉跟你们讲这些坏消息。But I have to tell you the truth that is going to take place. 可是我必须把将要发生的事是怎么样的跟你们讲。This is what the Lord Jesus Christ told me to tell you. 这是耶稣基督要我告诉你们的。But all is not bad. 可是呢，这些还不坏。The fifth event that will take place. 因为还有第五件要发生的事。Jesus Christ. 耶稣基督。And all the redeemed saints. 还有所有的蒙救赎的圣徒。They will reign together for. For one thousand years. They will reign together 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 for one thousand